what is going on everybody it is your boy and welcome to another daily destiny video if you guys enjoyed that intro be sure to click the first link in the description down below that's ptg fire dog and he made some pretty fire intros but anyways in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the exotic sniper rifle the black spindle which is basically an exotic version of the black hammer from year one from the crota's end raid i'm gonna tell you guys how to get it today and i apologize in advance because the first half of my video file that i got actually corrupted so you guys won't see the very first part of the mission but to get this exotic sniper rifle you do the daily heroic story of today which is going to get you to return to the chamber of night and steal a shard of the crystal that once held crota's soul now it is very very important that you guys don't kill any ads on the way to the crystal you're going to head all the way there without looking or touching any of the ads. And once you get into the chamber that holds the crystal, there's going to be one big ogre that is going to spawn. Kill that ogre as fast as humanly possible. Get one person to scan the shard and get re ready to run like hell. Now you're going to run and run and run until you get to the first door to unlock. Somebody will grab your relic and put that relic into the door so it opens. You'll run to the second locked door. Grab two relics and open that door. Then from there, you're going to run to the area where the Shadow Thief Strike is, where Tanix is on the catch. You're going to run up that staircase. It's going to be pitch black, but the elevator to get into the catch will be working. Once you get up into the catch, this is where the fun starts. It's going to be overrun by Taken. Lots and lots and lots and lots of Taken. Now, the most essential thing that you can do while fighting these Taken is getting rid of the Blights. The Blights are those big black hole looking blobs of mass that float. They actually spawn the Taken. So it is vital that you get rid of them as soon as you see them. So you're going to start just like you would the Shadow Thief Strike and move through the rooms just like that. The first and second rooms are pretty straightforward. The first room, very easy, two blights, a couple captains, get rid of those, no problem. The second room, you're going to have four wizards or so, and some vandals up at the top. Those are going to be your priorities, because the wizards are going to spawn non-stop shadows that are very, very annoying and can end up actually doing a lot of damage to you. So once you get rid of all those, and again, I can't reiterate it enough, you guys need to get rid of the blights. But once you go through there, you're going to head through the tunnel into the final fight. There is going to be a boss and a shit ton of ads. Now, killing the boss in this fight actually doesn't end the fight. You actually have to kill all of the ads. Now, in this room, there is going to be a finite number of blights that will spawn. And when they spawn, like I said earlier, get rid of them instantly. So that it spawns the least amount of adds as possible. Once all the blights are down, do some damage to the boss, then some more blights will appear. In total, about 6 or 7 of the blights will appear to spawn adds. Once you have all 7 down, get rid of the boss, who actually isn't that difficult. Then focus on getting rid of the rest of the adds. It should only be captains and centurions left. Once that is done, you are complete. You are done, that's it, and you have yourself your black spindle. Quickly, I will go over the perks with you guys on the black spindle. It is a 310 light sniper rifle, which is awesome. That should bring some of your guys light level up. For scopes, we have the ambush, we have the taxis, and we have the hawkeye, my personal favorite being the ambush. We have White Nail, rapidly landing three precision shots, will refill the magazine from your reserves, just like the Black Hammer. Then we have Snapshot, Flared Magwell, and Perfect Balance. Perfect Balance is the perk that I recommend in this slot. And then Mulligan, missing a shot, has a chance to return ammo directly to the magazine. All in all, this is a very fun sniper to use. I've used it in a couple strikes. Actually, the Shadow Thief Strike, which was actually very, very powerful against the Spider Tank. So you guys will definitely enjoy this sniper. Uh, I will have a review coming out for it in about the next week. So look forward to that, as well as a Zalo Supercell review coming out tomorrow. Was going to do it today, but then, of course, this happened, so I had to cover this video. Anyways, thank you guys for checking out the video. 
If you did enjoy, please be sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. It has been your boy. Thank you for checking out the video. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.